Hello. Today, we're going to talk about how to pixelate procedural textures. The first thing I'm going to do is delete this cube and replace it with a plane and make it bigger. Now I'm going to pull up a new window and open up the node editor and give the plane a new material. And right now it's just a boring gray diffuse texture, so I'm going to add in a noise texture, and now it looks more interesting. This is the, pic the texture that we're going to be pixelating, so to do that, I'm going to add in the texture coordinate nodes, and you can add them in just by pressing Control t if you have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled, which is not required, but it's handy to have. So, now we're going to add a converter separate XYZ and a converter combine XYZ and plug those in together. And what this setup currently does is absolutely nothing. It just can separates it into values, and then combines them back together. This is going to be our starting point for the pixelation. So press Control g to make it a group, and tab back out. Let's call this pixelate, because by, pic by pixelating the vector, it'll pixelate the texture. So now we go into our pixelate node group, and we'll give it some space in the middle. We add a converter math node and drop it onto one of these. Set the type to round, then press H and Control H to collapse it, and then duplicate it onto all the other ones. And if you look at our vector now, it's definitely pixelated, but the pixels are way too big. And with our current setup, we have no way to control the size of the pixels. So to do that, let's add another input, and let's call this scale. And now, let's add a color mix node, and set this to multiply, and drag our scale into the second input, and set the factor to 1. Then duplicate this, bring it all the way to the end, set this one to divide, and then plug the scale in again. And now, if we look at our texture, we can increase the scale, and it'll increase the pixel density of the texture. So it works. And you can do this with any texture. You can replace this texture with, for example, a magic texture. And now the magic texture is pixelated, which looks quite interesting. So there you have it. Pixelated textures. The end. If you want to help me make more tutorials like this, then please subscribe.